kindly be seated good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the listing ceremony of quest corp limited may i request all of you to kindly ensure your mobiles are switched to the buzzer mode till the event is over thank you i now invite our dignitaries on stage please put your hands together and welcome mr ajith isaac the cmd and ceo of quest corp limited Mr. Supratha Kumar, Executive and Whole Time Director and CFO. <laughs> Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan, MD and CEO BSE. Mr. Ajay Saraf, ICICI Securities Limited. <laughs> Mr. Dharmesh Mehta, Access Capital Limited. <laughs> Mr. H. Nem Kumar, IFF Holdings Limited. And Mr. Vishal Mahajan, Yes Securities India Limited. Well, a good tradition to invoke the Almighty blessings on this auspicious occasion. I invite all our dignitaries to kindly step down and have the lighting of the traditional lamp. Thank you, gentlemen. And now we have our opening address by Mr. Ajay Saraf, ICICI Securities. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Quest Corp Limited and the book running lead managers to the issue, I would like to, uh, in, uh, to uh, welcome you all to this listing ceremony. Any IPO is a culmination of a long and successful journey and marks a seminal moment in the life of a company. The IPO of Quest Corp is especially one such event. It's one of the, the, you know, the responses which it got, you know, the most oversubscribed issue since 2008. And, and across categories, over 200 crores, <laughs> most in the history. So, you know, and congratulations to, uh, to Ajit and the team to, for leading uh, such a successful company. The tremendous interest shown by, in, uh, by investors across categories is a testament to the robust business model uh, built by Ajit and everyone at Quest. Founded in 2007, Quest has uh, 
has, uh, has uh, moved to become India's largest integrated business service provider in India and with over 120,000 employees. The company is a leading player across all segment it operates on. On financial front also it's done very well, uh, growing over 50% uh, CAGR over the last four years with the revenues in excess of 3,400 crores in FI16. However, the numbers do not adequately capture the essence of the IPO and the company's success. The secret sauce so, which makes a quest so special is a passionate and driven leadership team with the determination to proactively address customer needs and also building a large and scalable business. The association with the Fairfax Group and the Thomas Cook over the past three years only highlights the high governance, corporate governance standards as well as potential of the business in the years to come. We are proud of our association with the Quest and helping them bring to the public market through the recently concluded IPO. On this auspicious and momentous occasion of the listing, I would like to convey our best wishes to the company for its success in the coming years and endeavor towards growth and creating value for the investors. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now invite uh, Mr. Ajith Isaac, CMD and CEO, Quest Corp Limited, to kindly address all of us. Please put your hands together and welcome Mr. Ajith Isaac. Members under the dais, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Ajay, for your inaugural address. I want to first thank God for helping us reach where we've done today. Without his assistance, we wouldn't be here today. About 70 days back, um, my mom passed away, and I'm sure she's somewhere in the room to, to look over this function as well. About uh, eight years back, when seven or eight people, like-minded people, got together to form this company, I don't think any of them realized that day that one day they'll be sitting here to list this company, which perhaps has received the largest ever oversubscription for its issue. They didn't know that they were building a company that will have 120,000 employees. About six years later, what we've got today is an enduring asset, an asset that is built with people at its core. Around 2010, when we decided to diversify to making this a business services company, we didn't know that we will have four verticals. In 2013, when we got Fairfax in through Thomas Cook, we didn't know we'll have such a great parent and uh, leading up to this event. But all through this journey, one thing we knew is that customers are important, employees are very significant, and whatever we do, we have to act with speed. This DNA stayed all along and helped us in this journey. Along this journey, we've picked up a lot. 1,300 clients, 120,000 employees, many vendors, and a lot of goodwill and friends in the market. We didn't realize that we will have 30,000 shareholders on day one when we started. We had 7 lakh responses to, uh, as applications to our issue, which was, I think, a fantastic thing for a company and a brand that is only you know, 18 months old by, with, its, with the name Quest. But we re realized very clearly so that there are now 147 reasons why we have to be what we were in the past. We have to perform. We know that we have a responsibility to shareholders and they've They've put money into this company because of what we've did in the past. I don't think much of what we did in the past is going to change because that's at the core of what we do. And with that belief, we will go forward in our journey. To have made it to this point, we've had a lot of teams work many, many hours to help us get here. But before that, I have to thank first our parent, Thomas Cook, Madhavan, and Fairfax, particularly Mr. Watsa, for his unstinting support to our company 
uh, all through this three years that they've been invested here. I want to thank our board. We've had a distinguished board, a very participative board, a very supporting board, a very insightful board. We've had Revati here, we've got Pratip Chaudhary, we've got Madhavan, Chandran who's joining us late in the evening, Sanjay Anandaram who could not make it here today, and Praveer Vora who's uh, traveling, and in addition, uh, uh, my colleague Subratanag. We've had, a, we've had an A-list of bankers who worked with us. Uh, Access Bank, our left lead, Dharmesh Mehta and his crack team. A uh, number of uh, good people who helped us, particularly with uh, regulatory issues, Ane and his team. Ajay Saraf and his team from ICICI. Mahesh, I can see here, who's traveled with us a lot for a lot of these meetings. Amit, who's also helped us a lot for these meetings. Uh, IFL, Name Kumar and his team. Uh, Thank you for all the support over, over the last six months in building the book. And uh, uh, likewise with Yes Bank Vishal, who's also here with us today. We've had a terrific set of uh, lawyers who've helped us. Um, we've had uh, Amrishan Mangaldas, uh, led by Reba Chako from Madras, Arjun and Yash here in, Bangal in Bombay. Uh, Jyoti Sagar, Arka Mukherjee from there. We've got... Uh, uh, Biswajit and team from uh, Squire Patton Boggs. Uh, we've got the registrar from Lincoln Time, who, who's done a great job to go through the mass of oversubscription that uh, he had to wade through. We had uh, our auditors, uh, Vinit Dhawan and company, who did a great job in ensuring that our, our audit reports came on time. Uh, Vivek Suchanti and team from uh, Concept, who, who helped us with all the PR work. Um, and uh, we've had a lot of support, obviously, from the internal team that worked on this. We had uh, Subratan Nag, my traveling companion for the last eight years, helped me tremendously in building this company and being part of every decision we've taken. Uh, the core team in the corporate finance group, which is basically Abhinandan, uh, Sumant, Samek, Shubham, uh, and Saurabh. Um, we've also had a whole bunch of people who built the company. Why do I refer to them last? Because I think they, they are the core of what we do. Uh, we have four businesses and presidents for each one of them. Uh, Guru Prasad, who's sitting here with us today, Guru who's been with us for the last 10 years and leads the largest business of about 90,000 people. Uh, Vikram Gulati, who's in the US right now. Um, Sanjeev Saklani, who's not here with us, and so is Rajeshwar Rao, but other gentlemen like Jay Venkat, uh, Vivek, Jason, etc., who've been part of this journey with me for a long time, and of course, Pratiba, who's part of my office. Uh, we also have another gentleman here who's helped us a lot over the years, Marcel Parker, former member of our board and uh, a chief mentor to the company right now, uh, a terrific support over the years. Uh, I wouldn't, uh, it'd be amiss if uh, I don't say thanks to my family, I have to go back and meet her. Uh, my wife has been tremendous support uh, and very uninterfering with uh, the whole process. If she had a way, she would have made Subu price the issue a bit more. Uh, I have my sister who's come from, from Pune, and uh, thank you all for being here today. Uh, I think it's, a, it's, it's it, like Ajay said, uh, listing is a seminal moment in, in the journey of a company, and uh, for us to have reached this point is with a lot of good luck, good fortune, and good people. So uh, uh, I hope all that stays with us as we go into the future. Uh, we know public markets will give us some, ex some days of excitement, some days of depression. We are prepared for that. And uh, we are thankful to have all of you in this journey with us. Thank you all for coming and uh, happy to have you uh, work with us as we build Quest. Thank you again. Thank you, sir. I now invite Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan, MD and CEO of BSE, to address all of us. Shri <clears throat> Ajit Isaac, Shri Subhrata Kumar Nag, Shri Pratip Chaudhary, Shri Madhavan Menon, Shri Dharmesh Mehta, Shri Ajay Sharaf, Shri Nem Kumar, Shri Vishal Mahajan, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it's a uh, it's a pleasure and honor to be in front of you today uh, on the listing of Quest Corporation Limited.
this hall used to be the trading ring of BSC. Uh, BSC has just completed 141 years uh, on 9th of July. And in those 141 years, uh, it has helped uh, list almost 5,400 equities and 400 more uh, companies for debt. Uh, the market capitalization listed uh, for equities alone is around 104 lakh crore. Uh, it's almost 1.6 trillion dollars. And equity um, on the debt side, it's almost 11 lakh crore. Uh, so effectively, BSE is the mother of capital markets in India. And I'm delighted that we are listing uh, one more uh, great company here today. The Quest um, is India's leading integrated business service provider. It was established in 2007. Uh, it is a pan-India presence with 47 offices across 26, uh, 26 cities, as well as operations in North America, Middle East, and Southeast Asia. It serves over 1,300 plus customers, and uh, it is mind-boggling that in seven, eight years, the company has uh, reached out to so many customers uh, with four seg uh, segments, namely global technology, solutions, people and services, integrated facilities management, and industrial asset management. The IPO was opened on June 29, 2016, with issue size of 1, lakh 26, uh, 1 crore 26 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each uh, in the price band of 310 to 317, aggregating to rupees 400 crores. It was uh, subscribed, uh, oversubscribed by 81 times, uh, the largest as it was mentioned earlier uh, in uh, almost last six, seven years. Uh, BSC has played, as I said, uh, a stellar role in building capital for India and we are delighted to have a new member uh, joining BSE today. So thank you very much for coming, and my best wishes to Quest Corp. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now invite Mr. Dharmesh Mehta, Access Capital, to speak to all of us. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Access Capital and the entire syndicate, I take this opportunity to congratulate Ajit and the entire team of Quest Corp for this marquee IPO, India's leading integrated business service provider. It was an absolute pleasure to be associated with you, Ajit. I remember my first meeting as you were just discussing, and it was a historic day that time, and it continues even today. And your vision of dial 1-800-5000, which is, I'm not sure whether everybody knows, it's like one decade from now, 800 basis point margin and 5,000 crores of revenues. And we'll be tracking that, Ajit. We at Access Capital are very proud of this deal because even the last deal, which had the highest number of record subscription, we were one of the bankers of that deal. And the next one also, which is after a decade, we have led that same deal, which is Quest Corp. So it's great to be associated with two of the record holding deals in this capital markets. The IPO was launched, which people don't remember, against the admissed challenge, challenging market conditions, against the, back, in the, against the backdrop of Brexit, Brexit, and we had a call on Sunday when the whole Brexit happened, whether we should go ahead and the best part of the deal was we never had even a minute of doubt whether we should continue with this deal or not. And the records are here to say for itself that ultimately we got a 32 and a half thousand crore overall subscription for a 400 crore kind of a deal, which is, I believe, humongous. I would also like to compliment the entire IPO team led by Ajit and Subrata and wish them the very best for the time to come and for the journey ahead, which has just started. All the best, Ajit. Thank you, sir. And finally, we have uh, Mr. H. Nimkumar, IFL Holdings, who is going to address all of us. Please welcome him. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. With this listing uh, today, Quest uh, will, uh, would have laid yet another milestone in the exciting journey that they have had uh, thus far. And uh, I've handled quite a few IPOs in the past year or so, and I've, in my 20 years experience in the sales side, I've seen a lot of IPOs, but as has been mentioned by several others before me, this is one IPO which has not only generated a lot of interest across all buckets, HNI, retail, and uh, institutional, but even within the institutional segment, we saw such uh, wide interest across all geographies uh, uh, from the large, long-only funds that have known India for many, many years. May I take this opportunity to congratulate Ajit and his team 
for having you know built this company and uh, wish them all the best for the future and i also thank all of you for being present here thank you thank you very much sir and now ladies and gentlemen we have the presentation of the trophies and the first trophy will be given by mr ashish kumar chauhan to mr ajit isaac This one's going to be from Mr. Ajit Isaac to Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan. Mr. Ajit Isaac to Mr. Ajay Saraf, ICICI Securities Limited. Mr. Ajit Isaac to Mr. Dermesh, Meta Access Capital Limited. <laughs> Mr. Ajit Isaac to Mr. H. Nemkumar, IFL Holdings Limited. <laughs> now inviting Mr. Vishal Mahajan, Yes Securities. From the registrar, we have link in time, Mr. Harin Modi. Okay, it's Mr. Sanjeev Nandu. From the agency, Concept Communications, I invite uh, Mr. Nayan Shah. Then from the printers, it's Western Printers, Mr. Pratul Dalal. Thank you, sir. And now, for the vote of thanks, I invite Mr. Vishal Mahajan, Yes Securities Limited. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I guess uh, we are finally there at that uh, momentous occasion when we uh, shortly ring the bell and uh, welcome the listing of the Quest Corp shares. Uh, on behalf of uh, Yes Securities, the company and the BRLMs, uh, my colleagues on the uh, dais here, I would uh, like to thank all of you for coming here early this morning and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a wonderful uh, you know, story out there on the screens uh, above us. And uh, it's been a fantastic uh, privilege for, uh, for Yes Securities to be able to work uh, on this uh, IPO and I thank Ajit and Subrata and the team uh, for being uh, making us a part of this uh, fantastic journey and uh, uh, we uh, look forward to uh, you know the company reaching fantastic heights in the uh, coming months and uh, years uh, from here thank you very much thank you very much sir and may I request all our dignitaries uh, at the dais to can you move towards the gong And may I request uh, the audience, as soon as uh, the gong is rung, to kindly remain seated because the cameras behind will not be able to capture them properly.
All right, the countdown has begun. We'll start from 15, right? Let's get your participation from 15 onwards. <laughs> 15 downwards, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, can't hear you. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and there we go. <laughs> A nice big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. In a short while, we're going to have the media briefing. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly join us for refreshments. Thank you. <laughs> 